Good morning everyone, it's Tremia, and I think I got maybe like two hours of sleep last night, so that's more than normal. Um, I go to my rheumatologist today for follow-up, and so hopefully she can give me something that's going to be, um, help more comforting, make me more comfortable. And, uh, this morning Dwayne, he called and... Uh, Chicago and spoke with Dr. Burt directly saying, you know, we need, we just need some reassurance. We need some more answers. And it's still the same. It's just going to take time. It's not going to be gone in a day or two. And Dwayne goes, are we caught talking a couple of weeks, a couple of months? And it's just a wait and see process. So I'm tired of waiting. <sighs> I think I fit, hit my fill point too. I ate so much this past few days and I am so full and that's with steroids. <laughs> I didn't know you could actually f find a full point with steroids. So there is one. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to start my solumedrol. Um, I've had a couple uh, people ask and tell and stuff and I know, you know, the later you do it in the day, the worse off it is. Um, when I was in the hospital, they started me out, my very first dose was at 9 o'clock at night. And they can only back it up by one hour each day. And so, that's why, you know, it's slowly been going backwards. And uh, because I would do it in the middle of the night when I'm wide awake if I could. But it has to be 23 to 25 hours apart, no more, no less. And so, and then a couple of times got it bit back, further back, and then the nurse didn't show up one time. And so I was at their mercy. And, but now I'm getting ready to do my solumedrol. And I'm going to paint my toenails I think as I sit here waiting as it drips I think I'm going to go ahead and just do it in this color because that's really pretty it's a pretty color so I'll have clam baked toes and clam baked fingernails well I'm going to call it a night I got my ice cream cake down me I still got to get my shower taken and all that kind of stuff and hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight I'll see you guys in the next video. Heading to the doctors. 89 degrees today. Little to no wind. It beats 103 and 45 mile per hour winds. So, just trying to keep out of the sun. So this is the rash today. Let's see what the doctor has to say. My home away from home for the past eight years. Every two weeks. I'm trying to find it. A space where we're not gonna burn up. I'm waiting. And waiting. It's a Dwayne. Getting the wheelchair put up. A lot was said and done. You know, really there's, whether it be the eruption of lymphocyte recovery or whether it be an allergic reaction, this treatment's the same as steroids. Um, she's gonna be in charge now, titrating it down. Um, and she, you know, showed her all the pictures and it, it was, you know, she was comparing and she could see, you know, some differences and stuff. So that really made me feel better because we're so used to looking at it every day. Um, they gave me 50 milligrams of Benadryl IV push. So at least I'm not feeling wired. Hopefully I'll be able to still go to sleep and I'm starving starving 
and this heat and stuff doesn't help with any of this. Oops, I'm back, I had to put on my seat belt. Um, got, uh, she gave me medicine and stuff, and I asked her, because as soon as they gave me the IV Benadryl, the itching on my face right across here just stopped and made me realize like how bad it still was and I'm just you know trying to you know focus through the pain and so I asked her if she could add it onto my home health care and she said she'd add it but it's only gonna be every other day not a daily thing um, because you know it suppresses your CNS system and stuff and got me some anxiety medicine also she had the main doctor he's one of the rheumatologists of the year in the United States very distinguished doctor and he knows my case just as well as my doctor um, he handles that office wonderful and he come in and looked and um, he said you know stem cell transplants it takes a good six month to a year for things just to kind of, you know, even out. And, but, you know, Dr. Burt, my transplant doctor says, you know, it takes a full two year recovery. But I just want to get past some of these bumps in the road. Um, tired of the struggle and the fight. Just need some rest. a long rough day um, we're sitting outside Baskin Robbins I wanted an ice cream cake steroids that's what they want uh, Dwayne just called and interrupted my vlogging I'm vlogging here <laughs> um, I could have chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream or vanilla ice cream and chocolate cake vanilla ice cream Chocolate ice cream just sounds too rich. It's so hot. It just sounds too gooey. Um, I feel like a bad fisherman. Like I need to hang some fishing lures from my hat and you know make it all cute and everything. It's been the long day and. I really love my rheumatologist. She she is very compassionate and cares. And you know, I explained to her, you know, I am stressed out and she listens. And so it'll all turn out good. I just can't believe how long this is hanging on and uh, you know and there's no certainty of how long it will take how much longer it lasts. Dr. Burt said that, you know, I could come back to Chicago and he could treat me and but he said there's nothing more that that he could do there, you know, than what we're doing here. And um and he and doctor my doctors are back and forth together so and I don't want to go to Chicago. I have to be there soon enough. Um, if I need to, I will, but there's no need to right now. Mmm, chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream. <laughs>